Hello, everyone. My name is Forrest Ling. I'm the IoT Solutions Architect in Tech Data. In this session, I would like to introduce the Enterprise IoT and AI Solution Demo through the IBM Maximum Application Suite and the Tech Data IoT Ecosystem Solutions. Agenda. In the first part, I'm going to introduce the story. Um, a cake factory story, which is the showcase we are going to demonstrate, and uh, the seven use cases associated with the story. In the second part, I'm going to go walk through the seven product step by step to how the seven product implemented the seven story. Introduction and a purpose. Um, two key features of the Maximal application suite. They are all SaaS solution. Uh, which means they target to the customer line of business. This is compared to Azure and AWS. Azure and AWS are the building blocks for the technical people put together the solution for business and uh, is targeted to the ISV or the uh, technical team uh, inside the customer. So IBM solution is directed to the customer is without the decoding and the basic configuration and a plug and a play. It's much easier than the um, Azure and AWS solutions. This session demonstrated the IBM XML application suite and the tech, tech data IoT ecosystem solutions, put them together to apply to our enterprise AI use cases. Okay, the showcase story. Uh, first of all, this is our cake factory story. This is the mandarin cake that make the fresh and customized cakes based on the customer's order. Uh, therefore, it is mission critical to make sure uh, the equipment is continuously running without any interruption or any problems. And Maximo, IBM Maximo is perfectly matched for this situation. Okay, the two assets is pretty important. It's uh, one is oven and one is refrigerator. Oven is to make the cake and the refrigerator is to store the cake. And the parameters of the oven is temperature and pressure and the refrigerator parameter is the temperature and the carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is here is to indicate the, the fresh quality, uh, on uh, the fresh air quality inside the refrigerator. And this is a real enterprise solution. As you can see, this is across the country to the three different places. Chicago factory and Boston factory and Dallas factory. Chicago factory has a 15 years history. So its asset has 15 years. And the asset that designed the age is 30 years. And the Boston is 10 years and Dallas is five years. Tasks. Um, the tasks from the showcase is uh, two categories. Uh, one is how to use the IoT data and to um, fulfill the business requirement. Um, you can, in industry control center on-site workers or real-time real monitoring from the enterprise level, asset scores, and work order automation by the IoT data. So this is uh, four basic. And uh, in the practical, uh, real life, the, the raw IoT data may be not accurate. Uh, to uh, indicate the business loss. For example, if we detect the IoT de uh, data is an anomaly is happening, if temperature is too high for the oven, and then we need to issue our ticket. Is that always the choose? No. Maybe the temperature is by accident, is like uh, the, 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 the false alarm. And that's why we need to, based on the historic data, get the machine learning model to get a more accurate suggestions or recommendations from the uh, predictive maintenance. So this is predictive maintenance come to the picture. And also when the technician come to the onsite, they need to ask the maximum uh, the situations or how to diagnose the problems. So this is cognitive feature to uh, kind of the knowledge explore. And uh, similarly, you know, um, technician can upload the onsite pictures or images to the maximum to do the deep learning to understand what the, what is the situation or issues. Okay, we already reviewed the seven use case in the previous page. Now here we put the seven use case here and line to the seven products, and uh, and also it's lined to the three different personas um, in our situation. The persona is a, 
Um, the first persona is the worker, onsite worker. Onsite worker do not care about the enterprise perspective. All they care about is uh, where they worked. Um, so this is uh, uh, reflecting the um, like uh, industry control system and uh, to uh, create a dashboard and alert and automation. And the second uh, uh, persona is the reliability manager. They do care about uh, the enterprise slavery and all the assets in the industry um, in, in, the, in the company uh, running um, smoothly without any problem. So they need to uh, monitor the real time data. Um, which is go through the like uh, what's an IoT platform that in here is the maximum monitor, and uh, they also need to get the scores from the historic data, and uh, to preventative the maintenance the uh, the system, and also they can get the predictive and either from the IoT data or from the um, machine learning data. And uh, service technician is the third persona. Service technician is get the ticket and from the enterprise asset management system and fulfill the ticket. So the ticket need to, the, the work order ticket need to be triggered by the IoT data or the KPI from the machine learning. And, uh, and after the service technician come to the on-sites, they need to um, um, ask the questions to the Maximo and how to diagnose the problem. And or the upload a picture to the Maximo and say, hey, the, the, the on-site is smoking or the cracks or leakings, you know, what, what the cause of the problem and the Maximo can, can bring the answers. So there are seven use cases and used by the three personas. So now we come to the, this, this picture and I put everything together. We have three personas. We have on-site worker, we have the service technician and reliability engineer. And we have the seven steps of the use case and the seven um, components of the system. So let's see the workflow. And then in the bottom is IoT data. The IoT data on site, they have the one use case for the on site, you know, industry control system, dashboard alert, and automation. And after data go up to the uh, to the monitor, it's become the enterprise perspective in across the um, whole country, uh, whole company. And the reliability um, manager can get the dashboard and alerts and actions across uh, across the country. And uh, if we send the IoT data up to the enterprise asset management system, and uh, we can get the asset score uh, combined with the asset age and the replacement cost together to get the uh, the the kind of asset scoreboard. The scoreboard is, is used to preventative maintenance the assets. And, uh, and also we can create the work order um, uh, based on the IoT data. And if we want to get the more advanced features, you know, we can create the machine learning, based on machine learning uh, of the historic data and uh, feeding the real-time data inside, get together and get the KPI. The KPI will be used instead of the IoT raw data to get the score or get the work order created. After work order created, you know the tech service technician persona is going to take the uh, the work order ticket and uh, start to uh, go to the onsite to work. Onsite work, they maybe need some help. You know, uh, uh, maximum assistant can according to the use of manual data and historic data, historic ticket handling data, and to provide the uh, uh, cognitive suggestions. And uh, also, you um, service technician can take a picture, onsite picture, and upload it to the cloud. Uh, and up to the maximum to get the um, recommendations. So these are uh, put everything together and showing uh, how the IBM Maximo application suite and, uh, and tech data IoT solutions together to uh, apply to the enterprise context. And uh, now this is to the end of the presentation. Um, if you want to uh, look at the technical implementations in detail, I've also created a series of the YouTube videos, uh, how to set up, start from the age simulation to the what's an IoT platform to the maximum. And, uh, um, or you can welcome to contact me to deep dive your own business case and how to uh, apply um, the maximum and the tech data IoT solutions into your um, uh, business situation. Um, thank you.